New York. Well, of course, I've lived in New York most of my life. Um, New York is a place where I want to live. I'm here of my own free choice. I like living here, mostly. So this is what I've been thinking about in the last couple of days in New York. You got me at a bad moment. So I'm not going to give you my pep, pep speech about New York City today. Uh, but New York is going through a terrible business right now. I feel very disgusted about, uh, I don't know if you've been following the, the news about Eric Garner's death and the, and the um, grand jury not coming forward with an indictment to, to have a trial against this police officer who choked the man to death. Um, this is bad stuff, and this happens too often in New York. And uh, there have been too many black people killed by police over the years that um, it, it becomes uh, an outrage. And having, you know, the country living through this nightmare in Ferguson, Missouri at the same time, um, I've never seen such stirrings about the question of race in America in a long time. You know, and I lived through the civil rights movement back in the 60s. And, you know, I can remember the Harlem riots of 1964. You know, and the, in those days, you know, the big battles were in the South with the uh, police uh, shooting uh, fire hoses uh, on, on, on the protesters. But in New York in 1964, the cops were actually shooting live ammunition at, at the protesters over their heads. They weren't trying to kill them, but they were trying to scare them off. And um, so we, we live under this delusion sometimes that you know the North is uh, less racist than the South, but it's not true. And um, this, uh, this is turning into a big national discussion. I think it's important. If something happens, something good happens, then maybe these two poor people won't have died for absolutely nothing. But um, so even New York, you see, is, is, is part of that ugliness. And uh, it hurts me. It hurts me badly. Um, and I, I was not expecting that to happen. I thought, all right, in Missouri, they're, they're not going to indict the officer. But here, of course we will, because we have to, because we have a video, videotape showing what happened. And, uh, but you see Staten Island, where this thing happened, is a right-wing enclave in New York City. It's mostly white. And I don't know who was on the grand jury, but it, it really was so disappointing. Uh, and, and I've been happy to see the... Uh, the volume of protest in the streets about this. And I think this is another good sign. And it's been white people and black people together protesting. And um, I hope they keep the pressure on. I, keep, I hope they keep doing it. And I, I'm praying that the, uh, the Justice Department from the federal government will come in and examine the case and then make an indictment of their own so that there will, really will be a trial. They, these things need to be aired in public. Right? And um, so that's what's happening in New York these days. It's, uh, it, the meanness of New York has come out again. And the thing with the police can be very, very ugly. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see if anyone's going to try to address this and change policies or not.